Greetings Minecrafters, Non-Sanity here, and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3. I am wearing some armor that I got out of the uh, mob farm, because I've been using the armor stand to make some armor, but it still isn't as good as this. And I've done some construction. Let's get started. Yep, I tore down the garden. I still have this little bit of stuff over here to clean up. But uh, the rest of it is gone. As I said at the end of the last episode, I was going to move it to the void. So let's go there now. And see what I've got. Alright, normally you start on this little platform of orange. And I have been building stuff. I now have six of these snake farms to tear up some seeds. I've got one here and one here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I've got this whole area. I had it set up into two huge farms, but running a plant harvester at this range, it takes forever to get back to each individual plot and the, the seeds will have grown and have been sitting there forever before they get harvested. So it's much better to have small ones like this, which is doing my basic Inferium seeds right now, so that as soon as they're finished growing, they get harvested. Or pretty close to it. And with 10, 10, 10 seeds, this runs very fast. I mean, this is 1,704 stacks of Inferium Essence. <laughs> my, uh, I've run out of the basic crystals again, so it stopped, and I had like four or five times this amount of the uh, intermedium in here. I've taken away. But yeah, these, I was going to have little gardens like that. They won't have this full contraption. This is only for this particular plot. It'll just be a, a barrel, a gather, plant gatherer, and a fluid trash can for each one of these. If they don't pipe everything somewhere else. I might even... I don't know, I, I guess I could run the sewage, the, the sludge that gets produced, but uh, don't really need it, I don't think. Underneath each of these little chiseled uh, panels is a water block. Easier to break this one. And a block of glowstone below it. So the glowstone lights up the area, the water hydrates the plants, and my dank null that I just made sucked up the pieces I need. I'm using lime concrete powder to get this ground texture. And I'm just putting on the frame blocks so that it doesn't fall. Though I do have a uh, an underbelly to this platform. I set up an elevator to get down there just in case I decide to do piping. So you can see that uh, there's the, the wall then there's the, the, the ground, and then there's this undercarriage so it can hold the water and so forth. You can see the green up in there. So we got plenty of room down here. And I did use the uh, thing here to chunk load these, but it doesn't seem to work when you leave the dimension. So actually, I may be able to fix that. Let's go back and make something. I think it's called an ender, oops, ender anchor, which is obsidian around uh, ender pearl and lapis and more obsidian. So let's get, oh, fell in the water again. Let's get two stacks of obsidian. Let's get, uh, sure, four ender pearls. 16 lapis. And let's make four of these guys. And let's see if they'll work. Oh, no, over here. It looked like I placed the anchor, but it probably didn't. So I've got. I can, if I place one in this chunk here, it should cover all the gardens 
and this garden out here. Yes. But so as not to color, clutter up the decor, let's put it downstairs. And we'll just slap it right here. No, no, not like that. That probably won't actually make it function. Ready to go. I lost it. Crouch place it. So I think this thing acts like a chunk loader. It may just be in the one chunk that it's in, so I'm going to put them in each of the three chunks here. And I guess I did lose the one. I don't know. It must have fallen through the floor or something. Turn this off. Oh, no, here it is. It popped up above. Interesting. <laughs> I really like these things. These are from Erebus mod. They're called silo supports. Uh, they have no collision box. You can go right through them. You can't stand on them. And if you break the block underneath them, they all fall down. They have to be placed on something supportive. But you can still place torches and uh, ladders on them, so they make good supports. I've got uh, sprinklers a lot less than I did previously. Because this is sort of a plant it and then walk away. Just while we've been here, it's spread too. So these sprinklers are probably fast enough to do what needs to be done. And I have grown a bunch of seeds in all these overnight just to make sure everything's working. Just have the one sink over here providing all the water that everything needs. But yeah, I like the looks of these. Uh, there's a fine, you know, a thin one layer chisel blocks on all the undersides of these just so that the uh, sinks bottom and pipe hole aren't visible. <laughs> I wanted to make this thing look nice. I don't have water and glow. I don't I have water in all of these, but I don't have glowstone in all of them, which is why it's sort of dark out there. And I haven't done this side at all. Converted it over. But as I need to, I will. Now, what I've this is all my construction supplies here. Aside from the uh, dank null, which I made in between as well, so I guess I should mention the recipe for that is five of these things, which are four emerald blocks, four blocks of coal, and a lime lime stained glass pane. I have plenty of emeralds from the farm. I used up all my coal. I should make some coal plants. And then here's some of the stuff I've run. I've done uh, steel, enderium, energetic alloy, vibrant alloy, graphite, fluix crystals, invar, black quartz, mana steel, and aluminum. And I've got two more growing over here. So I've got quite a few of the seeds. You can see I've also got quite a few of the armors. I got up to black quartz, but now I need thorium, and I didn't have any thorium, so I got stuck there. I think I have everything else, except maybe boron. Thorium and boron are the two I don't have. But for the seeds, you know, I've gotten you know, a couple here and there. There's still a lot more to do. And I probably should fill in the other four snakes. But I wanted to start recording, so... And we'll, now we'll see if these continue to grow when we're not here, so check to where they are and then leave and see if those ender anchors do their job. Yes, all the armor I've been working on over at this thing, the uh, workbench, which has a recipe of some sort of blue dye, four blocks of charcoal and a crafting table. And you go in there and it shows you what you currently are wearing and it will do all the armor upgrades. Like, if I was going to upgrade the steel armor, oh, this steel armor doesn't have an upgrade path through here. Let's say we're going to emerald chest plate. Really? No? All right, emeraldic. That's the last of the main chain I'm working on. You see, it does go in the workbench. And you take the last one and then add the emeraldic to it. And the last one was platinum. Before that was emerald, before that was diamond, diamond, obsidian, steel. So there's steel. 
I guess it's a different steel. The boron, invar, redstonia, pallas, redstone, tungsten, bronze, lapis, and then the thorium that I'm currently stuck on. I have up to black quartz. So just a matter of having 24 of each material stacked up. And then you can go through it pretty quickly just by fast crafting everything. Using JEI. Let's go ahead and put this one in our main chunk. Why not? There. See if that keeps loaded too. In which case this will start filling up as well while we're gone. At least with the leaves and spider whips. Actually, why aren't the leaves coming out? I hooked that one. I hadn't forgotten to hook that tree up to the rest. But now it should be hooked up and going into this one. Oh, it's full. Oh, this, this thing just isn't fast enough, right? No, there's nothing in it. Oh, I never set that up correctly. Insert. <laughs> Is it now feeding things out? I can't tell. Actually, if that's not it wasn't set to insert, this might not be. Yeah, that wasn't set. There it goes. All this time, it wasn't making dirt. Ouch. All right. <clears throat> uh, I've been back to the nether. Ooh, look at all those nether stars. Patient bags are working. Are they all in the same chunk? Yes, good. So if that ender anchor works down there, they will keep running. Good. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, I've been back to the nether and I did get some landium. Did I put it in here? No, where did I put it? Is it in this bag? Yeah, there it is. Landy more. I'll have to empty this out. This is my bag coming back from the nether. Some nether rack, fiery nether rack, and crushed nether rack, and various things I encountered along the way. But I have four landium. And I was looking at how to uh, cook it up, but with blaze, uh, pyrothium dust, smelt it for one, arc furnace for two, but we're not going to build an arc furnace. Uh, redstone Furnace for one. Flux Anodizers. Additional output when smelting ores. Hmm, might work. Induction Smelter. Gets you two. This gets you three with a Pyro Concentrator, but you need some Blazing Pyrotheum. Melter gets you one ingot. Smelting gets you two, so I might make a an, uh, Tinker Smelter. Alloy smelter gets you one, furnace gets you one, painting machine goes the other way. But this, with its doubling, might double it, even though it isn't listed as such. So, let's see. That looked like it doubled. It did. Alright. So, never mind on tinkers. No. That's one of the things I want to do, is I want to do tinkers. Because I want to get my favorite weapon, the unbreakable shuriken. So, let's look at the... I've, I've avoided doing tinkers as long as I could. We've got to make all the tables and the pattern chest. And then make the simply tinkers stuff. Temper, tinkers complement, it's called. Porcelain bricks, which is clay and... You know, no, no problem there. So, let me slap together all of the I'm doing this wrong. I think it has the same, yeah, it does the same recipe. Get a bunch of those. We're going to need a crafting table with one of those. We're going to need a crafting table converted straight up. We're going to need a log with one of these. So that's crafting station, part builder, tool station. It's been a while. I do try to... I, time Taker is a great mod. I, I, I like it. But uh, stencil table. Oh, I thought I did that one. There we go. It's a great mod, but it, it is sort of 
Overdone. That should get me the quest. Yes. Yes. There it goes. So now i got to make the melter, the tank, the faucet, the casting base, and the casting table. So I'm probably going to need quite a bit of clay or porcelain. My, yep, there it is. Combine those. I guess you fire it into bricks first. And then build stuff with those bricks. Probably some glass. So we're going to need a melter first. Melter. That needs them. All right, we need to go make two of these. Uh, oh, ran out. Really? No, okay, 33. So another one of these, I'm probably going to need more of this now that I see that there's some inception going on here. I need a furnace. It is handy having all those building materials with you all the time. All in one block. If you're not familiar with this uh, dank null, by crouch right clicking the air you can see things in here and you can drop stuff into it and if it doesn't have a slot it adds a new slot for it. And then by alt or option clicking one of these you can switch to which one is currently selected. And that means when you right-click with it, it places that block. And if any of those blocks it's got in it, you pick up, they go straight into it. They do not go into your inventory. I do not have that piece of cobble. It went back into the tank null. Very handy. All right, so we've got melter, we've got heater, we've got a tank. Uh, we need a table and a basin. Is that it? Up uh, a uh, faucet. Looks like we didn't need the heater. Interesting. And I got just enough for a faucet. Wow, I made exactly the right amount. All right, so let's just set this up over here. So I thought the heater goes on the bottom, and I'm just going to actually bury it here. Yeah, you put stuff in there. That's what heats the t thing up. The melter, there it is, on top of that. And we'll put a... Let's do the table and the that. Don't know why we need the extra tank. Maybe that was just meant to uh, be used in the uh, ingredients for the melter. So now I should put some like charcoal in the bottom. And what do we want to melt in it just as a test? Do I have anything I can... <laughs> I tend to keep all my stuff melted. All right, here we go. Tin and copper. Oops. One too many of the copper. Not looking to do aluminum as well. That's good enough. So at the bottom we put the charcoal. In the top we put aluminum. Nope, doesn't do aluminum. Tin doesn't do tin. Oh wait, these have to be converters. <laughs> K K K. This is just testing it out. <clears throat> yep, they're working. What we need to do in it is cobblestone. So I have the cobblestone right here. Let's do. Sure, just a hopper. Be good enough for now. Some cobble in there. All 
All right. Oh, and now we can. Uh, I need a. Well, that's not going to work because I don't have a. <laughs> I don't have a uh, a cast. Didn't think about that. All right. Well, I'll just break it. Don't need the materials. I just was testing it. Let the cobble go in there and switch this out for the basin. Where'd the basin go? Oh, I put it. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. All right, basin. And let's make a clock. <clears throat> Which clock do I want to make? They only have the one. They have timers too, but that's just a steady one second clock. Can I make this timer? Yes. Gold nuggets, redstone, torches, clock. It's a bunch of redstone, torches. Gold nuggets, stone, gold ingots. All right, I think that's everything. Timer. I guess I will put the timer right here. So to 20 sure for it now. Oh wait, cobblestone is not cannot be molted. Molten. I thought that's what you do. Maybe you put the grout in here. Seared stone casting melter oh does it have to have something hotter underneath what if I put a piece of heat sand out of curiosity nope it doesn't recognize that didn't think so but I wanted to try it so the melter yeah yeah you can stop with that Oh, you can put the, the charcoal straight up in here. Or is that putting it down below? Oh, okay, so it has a tank. It needs lava, too, I think. No, no, that's the output. All right, well, let me... You know, I, th I, th I thought I knew this because I've done this before, but maybe it's something's a little... It, obviously, things are different because you can't do the uh, grout normally. All right, let me check, and I'll be right back. All right. It says right here, place above porcelain heater or a tank to fuel. That's why we weren't, I didn't need to make the heater for the quest, because it just wanted you to put the lava tank down below. And then you put the grout in here. So I made some grout. Yep, that's working. And so now I'll put the rest of the grout over here. And that'll slowly start filling up this basin. All right. It is a start. So it's going to take a little while before we have enough to make a basic smeltery. And then I need to get the stuff I need together to make the shuriken. So let me slowly pour this stuff through here and build up a regular smeltery, and I'll be right back. All right, I've built a small smeltery, just a little 2 by 2 thing. I'm not going to use it a lot, but what I am going to use it for, and I've got it set up here for automation, so I can put stuff in there, flip the lever, and it'll come out down here. As you can see, I've made more seared brick. 
I accidentally made some regular brick and made some aluminum brass to make some ingot casts and what I'm going to do is run some supremium through it. Let's take this one out, put this one in and that's going to slowly melt. This is, oops, this is the knife blade uh, pattern. So I want to make a unbreakable shuriken with high damage. So uh, let me cook this up and then I'll show you the assembly and some of the leveling up that I want to do. Be right back. All right, now let's put it together in the tool forge here for Supremium knife blades. Only has three modifiers. I need five to make it unbreakable, but it has a nice attack damage of 12.222. Not bad. I thought it would be higher though, because these have an attack of 15 each. But I guess it doesn't average. It uh, reduces it somehow. That's okay, it's still pretty powerful. And now we will go and, not to this one, go over here. And we will turn on the mob farm. Whoops. And we will turn this off. Now we'll go start killing things. Stand over here and just start shooting. And I, as soon as I get it leveled up twice, which shouldn't take too long, I can make it unbreaking. So let me do this grind and I'll be right back. Up oh, there's the first level up. <laughs> Alright, so it's doubly leveled up. Now we're going to take some blank casts, which was just 10 gold made in the, poured into a, a table with nothing else in it. I'm going to make five of these reinforcements, just surrounding it with obsidian. Now we'll, uh, well first we're going to repair it with one more supremium. And I put them around, but you just have to run it out five times. Like that. And now it should be unbreakable. Still 12.2. Accuracy 100%. Tooler weapon randomly drop prosperity shards. Oh, I didn't know that happened. <laughs> That'll be handy, I guess. And uh, to last longer most of the time. It's going to last forever now. Each level adds 20% chance to not use durability. Now it's not going to... Not going to take any more durability. This sucker is now a very powerful weapon. You can shoot as much as you want. I'm going to enjoy using that. All right, tour. What else has changed? I noticed this thing is higher than it used to be. It's because I I went ahead and I ran some endstone through diamond mesh, crushed endstone through the diamond meshes, and that got me. Was no, it wasn't endstone. What was it? It was. Do I still have some over here? No, I used it all. What did I put through there? Take a look. To get the Spectre Sapling, you run Tainted Soil, that's right, through a flint mesh. And you can put dirt through the witch water to get the Tainted Soil. And I put the Spectre Sapling with some dirt into uh, this Bonsai Hopper here. It's giving me lots of the Spectre Wood, which is sort of fun. And the Ectoplasm. And you can use the Ectoplasm to make some uh, specter anchors. That's a really good one. You make a specter anchor. Ooh, let's, in fact, let's do that right now. Since I've got a new tool that I don't want to lose. Let's get some iron. So specter. There we go. A specter anchor. You take that and something you don't want to lose when you die. And now, does it say it anywhere here? Don't know if it's going to say it because this thing has its own override of the. Uh, oh no, it does say it there. Anchored, right there, the, right underneath the XP. Here it does not. It just goes from XP to Prosperous. But now it says anchored. And I've done that on my bag, which says anchored, and I did it on my Obsidian Aot, but that's really cheap to make. But just handy to keep that when I die. I didn't do it to anything else because they're all pretty 
easy to replace. Didn't even do it to my armor because I'm still using armor from the uh, mob farm. So I guess I'll do it on the slime boots. Why not? It doesn't take much once you've got plenty of this ectoplasm. Just five iron. Oh, six iron. There we go, and put it on my slime boots, and now they are anchored. Easy version of uh, Soulbound. Just got to get the uh, ectoplasm. Now you can also use this to make uh, specter ingots, and then those can be used to make these specter coils. And you probably have seen them in like the stone block pack, which we would tend to get the uh, specter coil number, and then it has the number that constantly changes, which generates 128 RF in and of itself. It generates. There's also a creative one that generates infinite, which would be. Handy to have a recipe for that one as an end game, but no, there isn't one. Uh, so you can, we don't have any way to get these. They don't come in any of the loot bags or anything. But these first three, you can make this specter coil using specter ingot, specter string, some obsidian and glass. And this transfers 1024 RF a tick. Transfers, not generates. You can then upgrade it with some redstone and more string to do 4000. Updated again with ender pearls and stable ender pearls, which are just lapis and obsidian, uh, to do 20,000 RF a tick. All right, so where are they transferring it from? You have to make the Spectre Energy Injector, which is string, one of these Spectre lenses, which is diamonds and emeralds and ingots around glass, more obsidian around a beacon, which requires another star, but we've got over a stack now from the uh, loot bag openers here. And I put that over here attached to three of my magmatic dynamos, which are each producing 240 RF a tick. So I'm nowhere near the limits. Those are all going in here and it's it can hold a million RF in and of itself, which is not bad, but much better than this thing's 3,200. <laughs> I've kept this thing up because there's still a few devices that are using its power. I think all my, I'll take you to the farm and show you that I'm, I'm using these things over there. But I'll eventually switch out to using, where are they? Here they go. I've got five more of these 20,000 RF Spectre Coils. I'll be making a bunch more of those in the future. And that'll give us wireless power at high volumes wherever we need it. Now once I make something like a Extreme Reactor, I can stick one of these things on each of the output ports and have you know lots of power coming out that way too. Uh, I updated this because I, I kept forgetting to excuse it excuse me to upgrade it, so it was never filling all of these crucibles. Now they're all filled with lava because they can get all the cobblestone they need, and these things are just not using uh, the lava fast enough for all of these. I will upgrade them some more so they produce even more power, but it's good enough for the moment. I upgraded my furnace using some of the nether stars and blaze rods and so forth. And I created, I swapped out the speed upgrade, see efficiency or processing, yeah, I had speed. I created this processing upgrade, which takes four nether stars, four gas tiers, and another of the ore processing upgrades. This process, this doubles all output. Combination with the ore, it quadruples ore output. So let me show you that. Uh, I have some tin oil here. Now this is nether tin ore. When you cook it, I don't have a regular furnace, do I? But it converts it, I think, to two regular uh, tin ores. But of course this doubles it so it's four and now that it's uh, processing it as ore this four will quadruple to 16 well it got mixed in but it, it graded 16 tin so that one ender tin ore created 16 ingots using this thing and it's super fast i had to upgrade from hoppers to uh translocators so it can keep up when i use it 
I did make this thing, like I said, and started working on upgrading armor through the whole, let's see, through the whole armor tree. Where is the armor tree? There it is. And I got as far as black quartz. Because I don't have thorium yet. So I don't think I do. I uh, put down a compactor so I don't have to, you know, use this thing to make plates. It's slow, but I put in a stack of iron so I can make buckets for the farm. Uh, let's see. I've I've put uh, pipes on here to keep this thing, and I've just made it. Run. Know, you saw that. Added a stone barrel. I used to have it right here at first. That way I didn't have to add an extra piece of pipe, but it was too close to the mycelium, and it was turning into witch water like that one. But one block farther away and it stayed water. Here I can make clay when I need it. Let's go to the farm. Actually, I don't know if I should do this. Oh, of course I should do this. Alright, but I did add out here, oh, and the frame rate sucks with all these plants growing out here. All these updates from these plants. And I haven't even filled out the rest. It's going to be horrible. I think I'm going to make them so they all shut off when I enter the, this dimension and just only run when I'm not here. But each one of these has got a uh, plant gatherer. Oh, why is the sludge? Oh, these are regular trash cans. <laughs> I put down regular trash cans. Uh, these things are not going to be running at full speed. I'll have to I'll change these all out to liquid trash cans. Silly mistake. Supposed to be liquid trans trash cans so they can take the sludge and destroy it so it runs faster. But each one has a tier zero range add on and they're all collecting up stuff and they're working still. I mean, it's 230 stacks of steel essence. And I've got fluix crystals and quartz, quartz, uh, certus quartz, eulorium, blaze, glowstone, enderium, vibrant alloy. Invar, Energetic, Diamond, well, actually, are these still running diamonds? They are still running diamonds. I'll have to switch this. I had them temporarily switch to diamonds when this was the only harvester around. Uh, this one's blank because this thing is in the way. I'll have to move it around a bit. And I've got Emerald and, oh, I do have Diamond over here, so I can definitely switch this out. Are they on the side? They are on the side. And I'm going to get out of here because this is a horrible frame rate to be filming in. There is a player detector block, I think, from random things. And I'm going to use that to send a redstone signal to all the gatherers to stop harvesting, which should make the... Uh, the plants stop growing at their maximum. Oh geez, this has got 2,963 stacks of diamond essence. And I still have another 2,000, that's 4,000 stacks of diamond essence. Far more than I'll ever need, but uh, I guess that could be used for EMC later in the game. And I've got more that have tiered up over here, including uh, draconium. Just did that one. And this is where I do my tiering, uh, creating of seeds. I get a stack of each type, and a stack of prosperity shards, and a seed, and four of whatever material I'm using, and it's easy enough to do by hand. Here are all the seeds I have yet to make gardens for. Copper, aluminum. Oh yeah, these three. These four that I don't have uh, additional for, they need to go out and be tiered up. They haven't tiered up yet. And these are the ones that I have out in the garden. I've separated them so I know. And then here's just some of the stuff that I got while I was tearing the things up. Get a lot just doing that. All right, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, so much better. So you may have noticed that I've got some machines over here. I've got some uh, metallurgic infusers. Oh, it looks like they're all done. Each one making a stack of enriched alloy. I want to get whoops okay 
So four stacks of redstone. I guess I don't need four stacks. Let's just do three, four half stacks. And four half stacks of osmium. I might as well start these things up and just get a backlog of raw materials. Ooh, there is one more thing. I, I want to make a digital miner before I start going to some of the other dimensions. But I just remembered there is one more machine I want to need, and that's the osmium compressor. Does that need plastic? It does not. Good. Oh, no, wait, it does. Darn. So I can't make the digital miner until I've done all of Pneumaticraft's plastic. Mm. I guess that'll have to be the next thing then. Because I do want the digital miner when I go to other dimensions. I mean, there are other mining devices like the, uh, the builder, but I think that too requires something from one of the dimensions. I guess I can go and get that first because I can do I can go to the the land land and right now I can make what I need for that this guy I've got landium gold emerald yeah, I've got all this now I've got eight landium hmm now I still want to have the I, still want to have the digital miner. So I guess next is Nemetacraft. Let me get stuff together and I'll, oh, I will show you one thing. Let's take this six iron here. To start with Nemetacraft, in my, from my mob farm I pulled out one of these creeper trophies, tossed down some iron, click it, and I've got compressed iron ingot for Nemetacraft. You lose a little bit, but uh, it's a way to get compressed iron right away without having to make anything else. I used four of these to make seeds, so I've actually got as much as I want <laughs> back in the farm. All right, let me get things together for Nomadicraft, and I'll be right back. Before we get to the Nomadicraft, I'm going to need oil. And one of the ways to do that is a cow, but I need to make a platform of grass. And to do that, it would be handy if I had flight. And guess what? Between the armor uh, quests and the, all the seeds I've done, I actually should have enough rack to get the flight totem. So let's give that a try. Rewards, flight totem, 760, detect complete eighty three player levels that's okay I've got player levels galore over here eighty one eighty three Flight, really? Need a little bit more. There, that should be enough. There we go. Yay, flight. <laughs> I can see I didn't bother <laughs> filling in the rest of this tone up there. <laughs> All right, so I will build a platform to get cows. Now that we have flight, woohoo! And I'll be right back. All right, here's the platform, and none of these are anything that I want to keep. Bye-bye. Oh, I did build a coin so I can suck things up here. Put it in my baubles. Coin of fortune. You can right-click it to turn it on and off. But I did get some cows. So, in order to get the right cow because I got like a brine cow and a syrup cow are my first two. I put together this little contraption over here. So let me empty my inventory of these drops. And let me show you how it works. I put a cow in here and I have this set to non-exact copy. 
this is if I click it it will enable it but uh, I don't want to enable it I'm feeding it fluid essence here I've got 22,000 buckets of it so I got plenty and I pull this lever here and boom we get a cow and it's a random one this is a molten platinum already got it give me another one liquid glowstone already got it I actually have started collecting them all anything I didn't have I stuck in here I, I used an anvil to name looks like I forgot to name some of them most of them are named as to what's in them but I did eventually get a oil cow hey you I can't get him he's on the other side now that's fine eventually got an oil cow which this one is so I left, I put him on the ground here, and I waited until his cooldown period ran out. And I picked him back up, put him in here. Now we'll make an exact copy. And here he is. Crude oil cow, next usable, now. Kill him. Do it again. Next usable, now. Let's pump him. We just got some crude oil. This is an animal rancher here. See, now he's... Oh, he's still usable now. Really? No. Can I keep... No, he's only... No. He's only used once. So, turn this on. Let the rancher do its thing. Yep, did. No. Kill it. Got another one. No. Looks like it's going to pump at the moment the cow no. appears. It pumps. Yep. No. So I can just stand here killing cows. No. <laughs> and we'll get our oil at the cost of some uh, liquid essence. Hey, I'm not hearing game sounds. I hope you are. I'll have to check the settings. I could hear the game sounds when I was between. But uh, anyway, here's a way we can get some crude oil. Now I'm going to take that and we're going to do something with it. Project chest time. And I'm going to swap this one for uh, an empty one here. And I'll put that away. <laughs> I still have more cow drops. I want my inventory clean, because we're going to build something. Pneumatocraft. I went ahead and made all the parts. So let's start putting these together. I'm going to be powering them. Oh, I'm going to need... Six. Oh, my drive is full. I just noticed that. All right, let me take care of that. I'll be right back. I need a bigger hard drive. My last one died. All fixed. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put down six of these air compressors. And let's see. Set them all to high signal. So they only turn on when they get a redstone signal. That way we can control them. Now they need fuel of some sort. So what we're gonna, I'm going to do is bonsai trees. Now I just blatantly stole this from Thorgal because he did the same thing, but uh, I, I might have came up with the same idea myself because it's, a, you know, don't have a lot of, I mean, I could set up a farm now with coal plants or any of the other burnable type plants, but these should all produce wood it might produce sticks you have to make sure that they do get wood first but what is the most common wood wood sticks all right take that out he didn't get anything he got wood he got wood so this one and this one so gotta watch them once they get a piece of wood in there as long as we have it, them all turned off they should yeah, oh got wood and this one has a piece of wood i'm just gonna prime it there we go and I'll put the sticks away. All right, so now they're all going, but now we want to be able to turn them on and off. So let's get out some redstone conduit and put it down here behind them. But if you notice, it doesn't connect. So we're going to get out the wrench and whack them all. Nope, not like that on the side there we go 
and I'm going to want a lever to control it and I've got one of those in here lever and I want a block to put the lever on I'm going to use some of this lime green powder because I got it so put that down stick a torch on it because it's gotten dark lever on the front and we have to do the same wrench trick here but this one we're going to be an input all right so now if i pull this lever they should all activate and we'll probably be able to better to tell from the back they'll just get fire turn back well that one did ah it's just getting a leaked signal this has to be green there they go now they're all on all right Turn them off because they're just blowing steam out the front. <laughs> or compressed air. So we need some pipes for that compressed air. I've got some here. And somewhere for that compressed air to go. And we're going to use refineries. So bop, 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 bop. And I'm going to put the refineries right here. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Did they take a torch? No so that's not spawnable. Now they themselves don't need the air pressure. What we need, and I'm going to go ahead and put some blocks here for a moment. We get out of here the vortex tubes. And we're going to put them down like this. Now they take air pressure and turn it into heat on one side, cold on the other. And I needed to place them like this because this side is going to be the hot and this side is going to be the cold. But to really make them work better, we need a heat sink. So let's slap some heat sinks on the back. You can see they change color a little bit there. Oop. Like this. All right, now, so now if we turn it on, They should start heating up. Yep. Yep, yep, there they go. Getting hot on that side and cold on this side. So the heat fins are, you know, absorbing warmth from the outside and it's getting transferred to this side. But there's nothing in there and that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it off again. We're going to pump oil from the cows into the here, and then it's going to separate into four different things. So we want to extract those four different things. Let's see, where is the conduit? There it is. And we're going to put them into quantum tanks. I've heard other people say that the quantum tanks will be going away in a later update, but when that happens, I'll address it then. I get my wrench back and we're going to disconnect them like this so each one is going to its own going to its own quantum tank I don't know if those can take a torch yeah I can might as well so as it separates into four different liquids the top one is the one we're going to want to work with I want to work with it over here might as well get the, just the rest of the parts here. Oh, uh, yes. I want to get a couple things here. I want to know how much pressure is in the line. So I've got a gauge here. Put it right there in the end. So we're just a little bit over zero because I ran it before. Now these things will explode if they get past five. Unless you put the security upgrade in there. And then it'll vent excess instead of exploding. And so I'm in favor of that. I'm definitely in favor of that. Any other things we need? No. Oh, yep. Yeah, we need some of that. And we'll eventually need that. All right, now the final thing is this thing, the plastic mixer. You give it some heat and some plastic, and it gives you sheets of plastic. You also have to give it some dyes. So we're going to need to give it some heat. I'm going to pipe that on the back with a 
heat sink and we're going to run the pipes leaky 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 I know there not one more there we go but it doesn't take the LPG that's in the top here that has to be converted once and that you need the thermo pneumatic processing plant so I'm going to stick that right here it also needs heat so put a vortex on it another heat sink and we'll run some pneumatic tube up there I thought I had enough pneumatic tube oh, I got more in here all right connect that I think it also needs pressure doesn't it? Maybe it just needs heat. Let's see. Requires heat. It does require pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's got the pressure dial. So we'll add another... How did I do this before? Oh, I put it up too high. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah, you're leaking. It's okay. come out one more here and then oh, wrong type the pressure all right and now we'll put it here so that comes in from the top the vortex in the back heat sink oh no that's not a heat sink heat sink and now I can put an extra pressure pipe there, so it's got the pressure that it needs. All right. And then the final bit of pressurized fluid pipe here. It's going to extract from there, extract from there. All right, got that extract, extract. All right. They're all set. So I think this is all we need to do. I did set this up because I've got 14 pieces of plastic here. <laughs> We're going to have to add two... Um, oh, nope, not fluid. Now we go to item. This thing also takes coal, so I've got a small storage crate here that we'll put coal into. So I, want to I didn't do this before. I want to put down a little bit of a platform there. Grab this guy, because he's part of it. He goes here. This is for the output, so this gets sucked out and inserted into the crate. That'll be for our final plastic. But at the same time, we want to extract from this one, too, and insert into here, because that's where we're going to put the dyes. So the dyes will start filling in there the coal and it's set to output up there so that should start filling in the coal this is an input there we go all right coal and just because I don't like this floating barrel let's uh, put that there <laughs> all right I think all we need to do is get our crude oil and feed that. That's in the wrong place. What did I do? Oh, I shifted everything down one. That's why everything's out of alignment. <laughs> yeah, those are going to get sucked up into here. It's all right. I can shift things a little bit. That's fine. So you come over here and we're going to extract. So you should start filling up with the crude oil. Flip the lever. I should have done that before because it's going to take a little while to heat up. So as these four things generate their heat and you'll see their color changing shortly there it goes 
blue, and then soon this side will be red. Right now, most of its heat is going into this thing. This temperature is going to go up, 39, 40. When it gets to 100, it'll start taking this crude oil and splitting it into kerosene and diesel and LPG up at the top. They'll go into these storage uh, tanks. The LPG will come out and flow yep, into this, which should be, it is in the, it's got enough pressure. Oh, I put its, <laughs> I put it backwards. It's cooling it. Let's get that down right. There we go. That should start heating it up. Yeah, much better. This one, I get it right. It's flickering. I don't think it has to be as hot. But it does take heat. Requires or produces heat. Oh, maybe it just produces heat. Okay, it doesn't even need the heat. I didn't think so. Oh, and it's... I need to make a filter. Do I have a filter? I do. Perfect. Filter. You're just going to whitelist plastic. So you're only going to take out plastic. Leave the dye in there. <laughs> Otherwise it's trying to take the dye out. So it's got the red, there goes the blue. All right, good. This one's heating up. Oh, it's plenty hot. Oh, look, we got some LPG already. Turn it into plastic. Plastics come down here. Let's uh, lock it to dark gray. Oh, it's trying to put the, it's trying to put the plastic back in. Uh, turn off the extract for the moment. I'm gonna need another filter. That's okay. The dye is all in there for the moment. But we have gray plastic. There it is, our 15th one. So these are now hot. Yep, they're over 100. Crude oil is turning into diesel, kerosene, fuel, and the LPG is immediately being converted over here into plastic, coming down here. Is this thing running still? The temperature is plenty hot enough. It's got coal. It's got pressure. What's the problem? Okay, just doesn't have enough LPG. Probably needs 100. Yep, there it goes. And the 100 goes away. Good. And down here it made another sheet. There we go. Yeah, I know I don't have any backups. Like I said, my external hard drive died. I haven't had a chance to get a new one that I like. I probably want to do a raid because I'm tired of them dying on me. All right, so that's it. We got plastic. With plastic, it opens up anything that's built off of the machine chassis. This guy, steel casing, digital miner, crusher, combiner, all the mechanism stuff is now open to us. So next time, mechanism stuff. Definitely. All right, hopefully that was... You, you followed what I built here. I did make one mistake of having a heat on the final machine that doesn't need it. It produces heat, I guess. The instructions in the tooltips are slightly deceptive in that it either takes or makes, but that's fine. This seems to work. So, until next time, this is Nonsanity. Take care, be good, and see you next time.